guys, here's Christina here, um, and with my little baby boy, um, he's hanging out with me this afternoon. Um, so today I thought we would do um, a um, link up with Amy and Abby with their vl vlog stars link up. Um, they are on week five, and so they have set um, a set of questions um, that are entitled a little bit of everything tag. So there is 30 questions. So you're gonna see me quickly. I'm gonna probably skim through. I don't know how many I'll end up doing, but I don't wanna make this too long. And I want you to make sure that there are questions you really wanna know about me and things that are kind of, um, that I can't answer or that are not related to me. So I'm gonna quickly go through them. Um, number two question is, if you could have an old muscle car, which one would you choose? I am a totally Ford Mustang convertible kind of girl. Love it, want it, love it. Um, drove one, but don't tell my father. I drove one when I was in university. I had a friend who, who got a Ford Mustang and he let me take it for a spin. So, um, number four is if you, if your significant other gave you a hall pass, who would you use it on? And be honest, truthfully, at the most, to be completely honest, um, there is no one besides my husband that, um, I would want to use my hall pass with. Um, I honestly would love, 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 love a spa weekend where I was, let's say, all by myself, nice room of massage, drink a bottle of wine, not have this adorable boy that I'd love with all my might asking for milk in the middle of the night. So if I could, that's probably what I would use my hall pass for. Um, what's your favorite, what's your go-to drink at Starbucks? When it's cold, autumn, winter, I love chai tea lattes and I like them spicy. I like them with milk versus um, water. Um, and I get very sad when I get a chai tea latte and it is weak and doesn't taste like chai tea. I want it spicy. Um, during the summer, I love um, decaf caramel frappuccinos or caramel, 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 caramel. I uh, love them. Um, have you have you ever read Fifty Shades of Grey? And if so, what did you think? Um, I started reading it. It is actually um, the book is start is actually is um, about my hometown, the part of the United States I grew up in. So it was interesting reading about the, her living in Vancouver and going over to Portland and heading up to Seattle to meet Mr. Grey. And, but truthfully, I thought it was so poorly. I didn't think it was very well written and I got very bored with it very quickly. So I stopped reading it and never continued reading it. Never seen the movie, no interest. Um, have you accidentally texted some message somebody you're supposed to be sending to your, to special someone? Well, no, but I have had an issue where my husband was texting my old, instead of texting my mobile number, he was texting my off, old office number and so the poor receptionist of the place I used to work with used to get all these kind of weird texts. So I'd write my husband a text, he'd respond, and he'd send it to my the office phone instead of my mobile phone. And the poor girl at the reception kept getting um, these electronic female voices coming saying, hello, blah, 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 or hi, I'm doing fine. But one time I texted my husband about the fact that I was climbing up, walking up the hill in the middle of summer and I was hot and sweaty and couldn't wait to get inside. And he texts back something like, Ooh, I hope you cool off. I hope you're not too hot and sweaty today. And she read that out. She heard that on the voicemail. Right? When she picked up the phone, the lady said that to her. And so she decided to put it on Facebook about how funny there's this like person who keeps sending text messages and I figured I was me, I had to apologize. Luckily, it wasn't anything too saucy, sassy, and she did not uh, admit if there was anything that maybe she shouldn't have read or heard. Um, what is your weakness, cookies or pastries? I'd have to say cookies. And um, I do have issues in England because um, I have a hard time understanding what the difference between biscuits and cookies are. My husband keeps trying to explain it to me, but honestly, if it's yummy, round sized item, no matter if it's this small or if it's this big, to me it's a cookie. So, don't know. I'll figure that one out one of these days. Um, what do you love about yourself? I love about myself that I'm a mommy, that I love to learn, that I can do some creative things. Um, 
let's see, heels or flats. I love my heels. I never get to wear them anymore. I love the heel. I love wearing heels to work and being able to feel taller than I am. But don't get to wear them. So most of the time I'm wearing flats. Excuse me. Oh. Uh, there is a question I'm going to answer, but I'm going to come back for it because I need to look up something on my phone. Um, what's your favorite rock and roll song? I really like Sweet Home Alabama. Don't know exactly know why. And I also really like Happy yeah. by Bruno Mars. Love that song. We could dance around that all day around here. Um, oh, I know. So the, one of the questions was, what was the last YouTube video you watched? And then another question is, if you could have any one YouTuber's makeup collection, who would it be? And it's the same person. There's a lovely lady here in England that I watched her YouTube video the day and I cried. She is probably one of the most inspirational people um, I have seen in a long time. Um, her name is Jordan Bones and she lives here in the UK and um, if you haven't come across her you need to look her up. She um, posted the most beautiful video the other day of the fact that she's actually paralyzed. Um, she has beautiful makeup um, tutorials and she is just a phenomenal woman but she's actually um, paralyzed. She's about so. Um, she is my little moment of inspiration at the moment. Um, Jordan Bone. Yes, she's lovely. So about ten years ago, she was in a car accident, left her bound in a wheelchair. But you can't tell by you, people ask. Um, but please do look her up because she's amazing, 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 amazing lady. Um, so she's my inspiration. Do you have a nickname? Of course, Ladybug. Of course, that's how part of my whole um, website and business and everything has ladybug in it. That is my nickname when I was growing up. Um, how many cars have you ever had? I've only owned one car in my life. My beautiful Ford Focus that I did hold on to and hold on to as long as possible but we eventually sold it. Um, it's in the US. Um, what's your favorite pizza? If I can make any pizza, I like pepperoni. I like pepperoni pizza with um, either pineapple or black olives. If you haven't tried it, it's lovely. Pineapple is sweet, and then you got the pepperoni, which is kind of spicy, and it makes actually a really good combination. So it's either pepperoni with pineapple or pepperoni with black olives. So, love it. Um, and that is probably the ones I'm gonna answer for today. The rest of them, um, I don't have really good answers for. Do you have road rage? No. Um, what are a few things that people would be surprised to know about you? Don't do. So anyhow, those are fun. I hope you um, enjoy the channel, continue to enjoy the channel. Um, and we are off to um, America in the next couple of weeks. So get ready, because I'm going to show you some things in my hometown, places I love, um, my mom's cooking, and hopefully I'll put up some videos of fun um, things you can do if you're ever visiting my hometown of Portland. So. Thank you. See you later. Say bye. Say bye.